Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood Linux gamer. Uh, today, I wanted to show you how to uh, get Minecraft set up and running on the Steam Deck. There's a couple ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is going to be boot into your uh, desktop mode. So tap the Steam button and then go down to the power menu and then click switch to desktop. All right, now that we have the desktop mode up, let's go ahead and click the Discover Software Center app. Okay, now that we have this open, let's type in PolyMC. And this is an unofficial launcher for Minecraft. Um, this is actually gonna afford us a lot of options. This allows us to uh, manage game mods and all kinds of other awesome things. So let's go ahead and click install. And this will take maybe two minutes, depending on your internet connection. Now again, this is a custom launcher for Minecraft. Uh, this is not officially supported. Uh, and it looks like PolyMC is actually done. So the next thing we need to do is just click launch. And we can choose our language here. Um, and we can select a version of Java that we want to set up. Uh, this starred version should be fine. And now you can see that we have uh, a bunch of uh, options here. So let's go ahead and add an instance. And we can choose vanilla Minecraft. Let's go ahead and uh, select vanilla Minecraft and we can pick which version of the game we want to install. I'm going to choose the latest version and we could give it a name if we wanted to. This is nice if you have like certain mods that you like to use that are old and aren't supported anymore and don't use, you know, that aren't updated for the latest versions of Minecraft. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna choose uh, version 1.18.2 and we're gonna hit Okay, now there's other settings that we might wanna change here. So before we start the game, let's go to settings. So let's go to Minecraft here, and then we're going to start Minecraft maximized. So let's also check the close PolyMC after game window opens. Uh, we don't want PolyMC to be open in the background, especially if we're gonna be launching this from game mode. Uh, we don't want PolyMC open in the background. And we're gonna go down here to accounts, we're going to add a Microsoft account. We're gonna copy this link and we're going to open up microsoft.com slash link. Uh, because it's a flat pack, it doesn't like opening links. So we're just gonna go microsoft.com slash link. And we'll need to log in to our uh, account here. So we'll put in this code here and we're gonna hit next. And then it's gonna ask us to actually log in. So I'm gonna do that real fast. And so now it's gonna ask us if we want to allow PolyMC to uh, access this account, and we're gonna say yes. And now we should be signed into PolyMC. And there we go. But that should be everything we need to do in here, so let's just go ahead and close this. And now we should be able to launch the game. And it's gonna download Minecraft from uh, the remote server. And here we have Minecraft uh, actually booting up on the Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and go to single player. And let's just create a new world. We're gonna say uh, Steam Deck world. Go to, uh, let's go to creative cause I'm like that. <laughs> and let's go to create new world. Now this obviously didn't launch it in, uh, in full screen here. So we might have a little bit of troubleshooting we need to do. There we go. We have our Minecraft world set up. So if we hop up, oh wow, cool. I spawned right near a tower. Heck yeah, dude. This is pretty cool, but we wanna actually make sure that we have this set up correctly for gaming mode. So we're gonna quit the game. Let's open PolyMC up again. And we're gonna right click on this. And we're gonna open up uh, our config folder. Let's go to settings, game window. We're gonna set the game window to start maximized. And let's set this to 1200, hello. And let's set this to 1200 by 800. Let's set this to 1280 by 800. So here we go. We're dropped into our Minecraft world and uh, 
we have a uh, a tower over here that we can actually go explore. So Minecraft is pretty awesome, and the fact that it's available for Linux is pretty sick. Hi, buddy. Um, but I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard right now. So how do we set it up so that it works with the Steam Deck controls so we can play it on the go? That's a great question. We're gonna quit the game. We're gonna open up Steam here. We're gonna add a game. And then we're going to say, uh, add a non-Steam game. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna find PolyMC and select that box next to PolyMC and then hit add selected programs. Now in our library, you'll see that we have PolyMC uh, somewhere all the way down here. I have a lot of games. <laughs> um, PolyMC right there. So that's pretty cool. Now what we should be able to do is actually return to gaming mode. So now that we're back in gaming mode, we should be able to just tap the Steam button, go to our library, hit the right bumper a couple times to go over here to non-Steam, and then we can choose PolyMC here. And let's hit play. Now you can see uh, that we actually, I'm using the trackpad and it's not working, nothing's happening. So what we wanna do actually is go to, uh, the, hit the Steam button again. We're gonna go over here to our controller settings. And we're gonna choose, go down here and choose keyboard, WASD and mouse. And uh, then we're just gonna kind of tweak the controls until we get it feeling good the way we want it to. Now we can double click here and it'll take a second to, uh, to boot up the game. And here we go, we have Minecraft starting up. Now it doesn't look like it's actually starting in full screen. So um, we're gonna have to figure out why that's not working. Uh, and playing this on my monitor here, you can definitely see uh, that it's doing some up resing with uh, FSR. So we can open up this tab over here. We can go over here to advanced. We can turn the, the scaling down to integer or nearest, and that's already looking better. So let's go to options. Let's go to video settings, full screen resolution. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit full screen. So you'll see that there are black borders on either side of the screen. Uh, that's okay. Um, when you're playing handheld, you won't see those black borders, but because I'm playing on a screen so I can ca screen capture this, uh, you, you know, you're gonna see black borders. Uh, we're gonna go to single player. We're gonna load up our Steam Deck world. All right, that actually feels pretty good. Um, now, there isn't a gyro, let's see how this feels. So we can move around, strafing the correct ways, left, right, forward, back, okay. Uh, and then you can see here that we actually have auto jumping enabled, which I think is actually pretty handy to, to do when you have a, uh, you know, a controller like the Steam Deck. Are the triggers correct? That trigger is correct. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now I do notice that the, uh, if you click in on the pad, the right pad, then it's going to click. We don't want that, so let's go over here. We're gonna change that to be, uh, we're gonna go down here to track pads. So let's go ahead and remove that command because we don't wanna actually click on it. Um, and then we have the left touchpad behavior, which is one, two, three, and four. D-pads, uh, outer ring command, okay. So I'm actually gonna go over here and enable gyro control as mouse as well. Um, now, I think I'm gonna turn the sensitivity down quite a bit because it's always too sensitive for me. 
And I think I'm actually gonna go over here again to the track pads and do the same thing. So let's go over here to uh, right trackpad as mouse. Let's turn down the sensitivity and the vertical sensitivity because honestly, the vertical sensitivity is pretty obnoxious. Okay, so left and right, moving left and right feels better and up and down is a little less uh, uh, egregious. So we have our menu here. B is the menu. A is jump. Let's go to options and go to controls. Sprint hold. Keybinds. Sneak is left shift. Sprint is left control. Uh, I think I'm actually going to customize these controls. So we want sneak to be toggle. And I'm going to use left shift. So we're going to go back in here. And we're going to go edit layout. Uh, joysticks. Click on the left joystick. We want to be the shift key. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, and then sprint. So L4, we want to have B control. Whoops, that didn't work. We want to have that be control. And that way you can hold that button down when you're moving. So now if we pull, push that button, there you go. Boom. And then I can click the inner, the L3. And then I can click L3 and I'm now sneaking and I won't fall off ledges. Because I'm crouched. Yeah, this is cool. So we have Minecraft working on the Steam Deck. Uh, it's working pretty great. Uh, I want to see how um, the, f the frame rate is. So we're running at 50, 60 frames a second. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, frame rate frame rate is pretty good. If we load in more chunks, it gets a bit uh, starts to wheeze a little. But you know that's kind of the nature of Minecraft as well. So that's the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, lets other people know. Uh, that this is a video worth their time, that they can learn a thing or two about, you know, running Minecraft on the Steam Deck. Uh, if you really enjoyed the video, though, you can also subscribe. And that helps this show grow. Uh, it helps us get our content out there. And uh, it lets you know when there are new videos up to date about the Steam Deck and all the cool things that you can do on it. So, yeah. I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Uh, without whom I wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you believe in the work that I do and you want to help support this show and help it grow, you can join the 100 plus other Linux warriors over on Patreon and my YouTube members. Uh, there's links below to get you started. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.